What's going on guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about Paul Pierce. Okay. Now, I did a few videos on Paul Pierce. I'll link them in the description box. And it was surrounding the situation where Paul Pierce was at this get together and there was women there. I believe he may have been, you know, smoking a little something, maybe drinking a little something, just having a good time, right? You got the ladies in the background. That situation went viral and ESPN let him go. And he it seemed that he wasn't phased by that at all. He was going to move on to bigger and better things. But recently, uh, Paul Pierce tweeted at ESPN. And he said he basically made more money in crypto in the past month than he did all year at ESPN and he said that the truth shall set you free my own boss now looking at that and you look at the way Paul Pierce has handled this I would say he's handled this pretty well because I don't know if he was on thin ice at ESPN because ESPN don't really let you go unless there might have been some things going on behind the scenes that didn't make its way to the forefront and to see that Paul Pierce was unfazed by this, to see that he can move on and not really care, leave that corporate woke machine that is ESPN, Disney, and move on is something that I think is good. Because it honestly seems like, I don't know where his life is right now. There was talk that he may or may not have been going through a divorce. I know he just sold his home. So he's going through some changes. He's going through some changes in his personal life. And those changes may be for his own happiness. Because if you're not happy, then you shouldn't have to stay somewhere you don't want to be. And he's talking about how he's doing well in crypto. He seems like, you know, I believe he may or may not be venturing into the weed industry. So. I think that us as men have to value our happiness above a paycheck because I believe he was making north of a million or so dollars a year, right? Which is good money. It's not small money by any means, uh, depending on the life type of lifestyle that you live. But it's clear to me that when you look at the video, when he was there partying with the ladies, it seemed to me that he was unwinding. Like he may have had a lot on his mind. And he just didn't care. That's why he went live. It's almost like he wanted to be free of his situation. That That's just how it felt. It felt like he just wanted to relax or release and to get away from things. And it turned into a situation where he ended up getting terminated. You got people at ESPN who says egregious things and they don't get fired. Now, you they have fired people for some egregious things here and there. But they're allowed to speak their mind they're allowed to have an opinion but on his off time he's not allowed to unwind why is it because he had ladies in the background who was there willingly dancing behind him. now again i will say this he is married okay so it's not a good look if you part in with some ladies and you're married so that's why i say again him and his wife may have split up and it just hasn't gone public but that's that might the morals clause you know they care more about morals than they do about network losing money from wokeness it's interesting but that's his business you know what's go what goes on with his wife and his family that's his business and he you know didn't tell anybody if there was some trouble in paradise you know he's out unwinding and that you know i guess a man especially a man like Paul Pierce being out, you know, partying or having a, at a get together where there's ladies there. It's not like he brought them there. It's not like he's dating any of them, but maybe that them seeing a man comfortable in an environment where the, you know, women are there with them. Maybe that made them uncomfortable. You know, maybe they don't like seeing a man, you know, partying with women like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just that how it's seen because I, I don't know. It's, I know Rachel Nichols, was mentioned, I believe, in the in the IG live 
maybe that's what triggered some people at ESPN. But I believe there may have been some things going on behind the scenes. Maybe Paul Pierce clashed with people in upper management and he was ready to go. You know how you know somebody is just ready to leave and they're just they're they're, they're there, but they're not there. That might have been Paul Pierce. That might have been Paul Pierce was probably there, but he just didn't feel like he was there. He, you know, he wanted to leave. He was ready to leave. And him going at ESPN. Him basically saying, hey, you know, I've made more money with crypto than I did with you for like a whole year or so. You know, and that could be a better situation because having to deal with them, having to deal with that type of environment, I can only imagine what that ESPN environment is like. I can only imagine the type of egos and a type of BS that you have to put up with as a man especially as a melanated man in those offices i can only imagine i can only imagine i mean he he, he had to work with michelle beetle i mean this is <laughs> you know you know and espn is losing money they're letting go of their top tier talent because they can't pay them no more right they're letting go of their the most talented people they're letting go because they can't pay them they want them to take pay cuts they might have wanted paul pierce to take a pay cut and he probably said no and he feels like, listen, I can go elsewhere and make money. I don't want to be at a place where I am miserable and I can't be myself. I might as well just not be here. And I think he made the choice for himself and his own sanity. Now, again, I don't know if he's going through a divorce. He sold his home. Maybe his wife, they have temporarily separated. But you don't sell your house, you know. And you're not partying with some ladies unless, you know, you're in a situation where you, you know, you might be taking a break. You might be single. But I, I do like the fact that he was able to walk away from that ESPN money, that ESPN Disney money. The cushy job that is being the NBA analyst. And he was able to walk away and do what he wants to do on it, you know, on, and have fun. And basically enjoy retirement instead of having to be like most of these NBA players and got to go, they have to go get a TV job because they have a lifestyle to upkeep. And I don't think that he wanted to be that guy that wanted to have to hang on to a job that he doesn't like just so he continued to get that nice paycheck to upkeep his lifestyle. No man should have to put themselves through that. No man should have to stress himself to go to a job where he's going to be around people that he probably doesn't like, that he probably doesn't get along with. You got upper management that won't let you be you, even though when you're getting paid, I mean, you have to adhere to the rules. That's fine. But again, we don't know what that, that, that environment at ESPN could be extremely toxic. It could be extremely toxic. As woke as they've gone, just imagine working every day as a man. Right, especially as a melanated man, imagine working there every day and the things that you have to put up with, the things that you have to put up with every day at that job. I think he was done. It was almost as if them letting him go. It it cleared things for him to get himself in order to get the ball rolling on the ventures that he wants to have. Now, it will be good to see Paul Pierce because I think Paul Pierce has a personality. Uh, he's not liked very much by the LeBron James stands. So I do think he still has a future in doing something uh, media wise, whether he does something on his own or he goes to like Barstool or wherever. I think that he's going to he's going to do well. He's going to do well. And I think us as men we should choose our happiness we should take risks and not rely on a corporation or a company that we don't want to go to to pay us all the time we don't want to we don't want to be miserable especially when we're getting older we should want to be able to enjoy what we do we want to be able to have fun what we do we want to be around people that uplift us not people that we don't want to have to be around every day, but we understand in order to get paid, we have to be around these people. We have to be in an environment that is that 
I believe is very toxic. And I don't believe that any man should have to put himself through just so they can get paid. When really you can go into business for yourself and you can build a type of lifestyle that you want to live. And I also want to say this, you know, Paul Pierce has been through some things, man. Like he had a situation early in his career where he got into an altercation uh, at a club and he almost could have lost his life due to what happened. So he's a tough guy, man. And I'm pretty sure that he's going to bounce back. I have no doubt. I think he has the personality for it. It just depends on what he wants to do. Being in media may not be something that he wants to do moving forward. He may want to do something else. But whatever he does, I know he's going to be successful because, you know, he's always been able to be himself and, and still be able to, especially when he was a player. You know, he showed glimpses of what his personality could be. He may have been held back at ESPN. He may have been held back. And he feels like he can be more of himself outside of that bubble, so to speak. So I'm pretty sure Paul Pierce is going to do fine. I'm not concerned whether he will get another opportunity. I think opportunities will always be there for people. Um, I think his stock is high right now. And because of that, you know, anything's possible with him. But we'll definitely see, you know.